hello. So this happened. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. And now I'm gonna do this. Now if you don't know what a diff breather is, here's a little diagram. This guy's the diff, the snorkel is the diff breather. All right, that's done. Move to prep the other side. So the two diffs, the transfer case, and the gearbox. Fun. Okay, so problem one with the transfer case is that the diff breather is like up and over in there, top down, no hatch access. So this is the rear diff. That's the original breather that just goes that high. So what I'm thinking is because this goes into that. Oh yeah, that will. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna keep the OEM. I'm gonna go to a bit of this. It's gonna go to a bit of this. And then from that, it's gonna plug deliciously into that. I'm gonna make two of these. Bang. Two. Two little adapters. Oh yeah, it's back on, and then this one gets back on like that. Cool. Alright, we're ready to be adapted. Alright, so the front diff is done, and while I was there, I dropped in the diff cable. Keep it relatively loose because I've got a two inch lift coming in this pretty soon. Connect this up to front diff. as what I wanted but it's in a good spot I'm happy with it there easy to look at I will eventually hopefully try to get the other two hooked up uh, once I work out how uh, rear diff ended up going around following the fuel lines that I've run over the engine and then down that side of the chassis rail next up we're gonna have to quickly start sealing in all the firewall and uh, get that ready for uh, getting in water and here's why <laughs> 